Today we will be learning about rotational symmetry. Rotational symmetry appears in sea stars and jellyfish. It also appears in human-made objects like airplane propellers, ferris wheels, dartboards, and other familiar items. Shapes and objects have rotational symmetry if they can be pivoted, turned, or spun around their center less than one full rotation without appearing to change. The center pivot or center of balance are all ways to describe the single point on an object around which the object can turn, rotate, or spin. Think of your mathematics textbook. Can you find a spot on it that allows the book to balance on your index finger? When you find that spot, you have the center of the object. The rectangle that is your mathematics textbook can be rotated around that center to find its rotational symmetry. Now let's discuss rotational symmetry and order. The order of symmetry is a number used to describe how many times the object will appear to be the same while rotating around 360 degrees. If it only matches up twice, it is order 2. If it matches the original shape three times, it is order 3, and so on. Here are some common orders, and the amount the object rotates are. You may notice that no order 1 exists. This would be a shape that has to turn completely around 360 degrees to look the same. No object has rotational symmetry of order 1. You may also notice just how many orders are possible. This is because 360 degrees has so many factors. The only misfit is order 7, since 360 degrees does not divide evenly by 7. Many everyday objects show rotational symmetry. In mathematics, all the regular polygons have rotational symmetry. Here is an equilateral triangle. How many times will it match itself when rotated around its center? The equilateral triangle will match three times in rotating around its center, so it has rotational symmetry of order three. Can you figure out the order of rotational symmetry for the square shown? To go from the first drawing to the second, we need only rotate the object 90 degrees. We can do that four times, so a square has order four. What about this regular pentagon? What is its rotational symmetry? Did you say it is order five? Also, have you noticed a pattern? For the regular polygons, the order of rotational symmetry is equal to the number of the sides of the polygons. Finally, let's discuss degree of rotation. The number of degrees you must rotate the object around its center is key to finding its order of rotational symmetry, but it also tells you how much to rotate the object to make it match its original position. Very often, you can find the degrees of rotation by physically rotating the object if it is something in your daily life. Take a rectangular cell phone, for example. Concentrating only on its outline, what happens when you rotate, spin, the phone halfway around a complete circle? You can do that same move again to return to the original shape. So the cell phone's rectangular shape rotated 180 degrees two times, order two you can get the degree of rotation if you know the order. To do this, divide 360 degrees by the order which equals the degree of rotation. Likewise, you can get the order if you know the degree of rotation. To do this, divide 360 degrees by the degree of rotation which equals the order.